Next, we want to verify the hand pump operation. Read the hand pump instructions on the yellow tag. To operate the hand pump, the hand pump isolation valve must be fully closed in a clockwise direction. If not, pressure will build up when operating the hand pump. Use a 532 inch, 4 millimeter hex wrench. Turn the valve counterclockwise to open or clockwise to close. Be sure to reopen the hand pump isolation valve when you no longer require the hand pump to operate the actuator. Leaving the hand pump isolation valve in the closed position, local or remote operation of the actuator will not work properly, and oil may spill out of the reservoir when operating via the electric motor. Use the handle supply with the pump to raise the pump clevis. To insert the handle into the hand pump, loosen the hand pump bar screws. Insert the handle and tighten the hand pump bar screws. You will pull the pump handle down to discharge the hydraulic fluid into the cylinder of the actuator. Repeat operating the handle until the actuator has completed its power stroke. You can verify the position of the actuator by viewing the mechanical dial position indicator. After confirming the actuator is fully open, push hand pump bypass located below the hand pump and push the pump handle down. Remove the handle. Slowly open the lockable manual bypass valve to allow the actuator to spring return to its fail-safe position. After the actuator has returned to its fail-safe position and pressure has been released, close the lockable manual bypass valve. Open the hand pump isolation valve counterclockwise to return to automatic operation. Ensure the lock nut is tight to make sure the isolation valve is locked in place. Check reservoir to see the hydraulic fluid is at the proper level. Important, the lockable manual bypass valve must be closed to enable any mode of operation. Hand pump isolation valve must be open for normal operation.